This is an overview of the card post carousel by Limited Elements for Elementor. To get started, drag the card post carousel into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it presents your post in a carousel format that you can navigate using the nav arrows or the navigation dots here on the bottom. I'm going to take you over the settings one by one and show you how you can customize this to suit your needs. The first setting is for autoplay on or off. So right now you can see it's auto playing. You can turn this off, for example. This setting is connected with this one, autoplay timeout. So right now it's autoplaying every four seconds. You can count four seconds and then it will autoplay again. This is in milliseconds. So for example, if you wanted to autoplay every two seconds, you're going to want to change that to 2000. The next setting is for loop. This is for it to loop or not. Autoplay hover on pause. So right now when I'm hovering over the carousel, it is pausing from the autoplay. Let's turn off the autoplay right now so it just won't be annoying while I explain about the different settings. The next setting is for the number of columns. This is a responsive setting so you can determine the number of columns in each screen resolution that you want. Margin is for the margin between the items. So for example, if I want more spacing between them, I can change that to five. Autoplay timeout, we talked about that. That's connected to autoplay. Transition speed is for how long it takes for it to transition once you click on an arrow, for example, or it autoplays automatically. The text over here is for the read more button. So you can change this to any text that you want. And inside of layout, we can turn on or off different parts of our carousel. For example, if I don't want these arrows to show, I can just click on that and now the arrows do not show. You can also turn off the date, the title, the intro, and the button over here. Inside of arrows, we can determine the different icons for the arrows left and right. And inside of post query, you can filter your post and decide which post you want to show inside of your carousel. For example, you can even choose products and show WooCommerce products inside of your post carousel. Over here in include by terms, this means that you can filter these by category, for example. So if you have a news category and you want to show only news related items, you can write over here the name of the term. Maximum number of posts, right now we're showing 10 posts, but if you want to show less posts, for example, just five posts, you will see now there are less dots over here and less items inside of the carousel. You can decide how you want to order this and the order direction. For query ID, this is for advanced users. Inside of the style tab, we can change the radius. So right now you can see our items are rounded and you can play around with that. You can change the image height. For example, if I want my image to be higher, I can play around with the height. Let's make our image 300 pixels height. And we can also give a border to our items. Of course, you can change the border to any one of the settings and you can play around with the border width to make it customized for your website needs. I'm just gonna make this a gray color. Inside of content, we can play around with the padding. So right now the padding is uh, 30 pixels all around. I'm gonna change it to 20. Content background is for the background over here. Let's change that to white. Alignment, we can decide to align our text differently if we need to. And content minimum height. Now, what's nice about this setting is that the height of the items will always be the same and the button will be snapped to the bottom, which is something that usually users struggle with. So we tried to make a solution for that. Date, we can change the date color, the date typography, date spacing, same for title, for intro, and inside of button, you have some more settings for all the hover states and stuff like that, but 
just for example purposes, let's make this rounded and let's make the button hover color maybe red, just so you can see how that looks. Down here, we have an option to style the nav dots over here. I'm just going to make them a bit bigger and you can play around with all the different settings. Inside of nav arrows, you can also style your arrows however you want, sizes, colors, and hover states. Thank you for joining guys and I'm going to see you in the next video.